In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use a YouTube video inside your Zave file. Using video hosted on the web can greatly decrease the final size of your Zave, and thus the time it takes for a user to download the content within your app. However, you must realize that the user can only watch a video like this if they are connected to the internet. You begin by first uploading your video to YouTube. Once your video is up on YouTube, all you have to do is right click the video itself and choose copy embedded HTML. A frame will appear above your video with the embedded code. Copy this code. Next, launch the text editing program that saves files as HTML. Or just launch Dreamweaver if you have it. In Dreamweaver, I'll make a new blank HTML page and choose create. I'll first delete all of the HTML code and just replace it with the embedded code I copied from YouTube. I'll now save this HTML in a folder all by itself. This is an important step because we must choose the folder where the HTML document is stored later on in this setup. Also, just as a note, if you are using TextEdit or some other text editing program and choose HTML as the extension, be sure to reopen it and make sure it didn't place the basic HTML head, title, etc. code in the document itself. You only want this HTML document to have the embedded code you copied from YouTube. That's it. Also, take note of the dimensions of your video as you see defined in the embedded code. For instance, mine is defined as 640 by 390. Now I'll show you how to define this in InDesign. In InDesign, I made a button that will launch the video. Notice that I have a screenshot of a frame within the video and the instructions as text below it. I have grouped the two objects so that they will both be active areas to launch the video. I'll select this grouped object and add the interactivity of button to it. I'll leave it set to tell reader and change to execute to show pop-up. I'll then change the pop-up type to modal. Then I'll click edit pop-up to define the pop-up frame for the video. At the top of the window, I can determine the size of the frame for this HTML, or more accurately, YouTube video. If you remember, my video was set to 640 by 390. I'll just add 5 pixels on each to adjust for the padding. I'll define mine as 645 by 395. Now I can click on Folder, and choose the folder where I save the HTML. Now that the path is correct, I need to change index.html to the same name I saved the HTML file. I'll type in youtube.html. Finally, I'll check transparent background and uncheck scrollable and can scale, since I don't want these types of HTML interaction. Once I save the file and generate it, you can now see how it behaves in my kiosk. Once I open the page, I can tap the button. The pop-up frame opens up to the correct size and I can click the play button to start the YouTube video. I can also make the video full screen. If I click anywhere outside the video, it will close and stop playing. And that is one way to host your videos online to reduce the final size of your Zave files. Thanks for watching.